Welcome back, folks. We are heading into an operation here to uh, recover an item. And that is going to be all good. I think this is what we're bringing out. We're bringing out our tech specialist because of the recover item. We're going to need to hack something, I think. Uh, we're bringing out our sapper, uh, our uh, templar and a rookie let's go let's go and begin mission all right let's get in there and do this let's follow up our flawless Operation Gatecrasher. That would be really nice. Dr. Tigan has been tracking the movements of an advent data vault carrying information critical to the aliens' latest project, and he's finally managed to trace it to one of their facilities in this area. Tigan thinks we can recover the contents, assuming we can eliminate any hostile protecting this thing. Move in and secure the area. Leave no aliens standing. Alrighty. Pick up the thing, kill everyone. Seems like a good plan. Menace one five. We've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. Be advised. Self detonating charges that are in isn't place too far away. Target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. We see a couple of ad advent troopers there. We have seven turns until this thing gets destroyed. Let's see what we see. Nothing so far. All right, then let's just move, move, move. Already there. get moving. Move, move, move. All right. Send you up here and have a look. Looks like ET phoned home for some reinforcements. Okay. Uh, so we have an Advent Trooper and a Sectoid. An Advent Trooper and a Sectoid. I'm not sure I want to stand there. Because I'm thinking that we'll see this squad over here as well. Maybe. No. Okay. Let's overwatch. Uh, you don't really have a good place to be. But, uh, so we only see him. Where was the... Hmm. Let's send you up here. All right. The trooper is there. So if you come up here... Can you then launch one of these down here? You can. Wonderful. So that means that you will be an overwatch. Uh, you will be on pistol overwatch. And you... will blow these guys up. Can't really delay here because we need to we need to get in there and get that container opened oh what a whiff 81 per center that sucks Damn it. Enemy is still alive. all right now the sector is going to mind control All right, we resisted, but she's packed, panicked. You're gonna rend him? No, unfortunately not. All right, good miss. Good miss. All right. The sectoid is the most important to kill. 52%. Oh, 
particularly like that. Let's jump down here and see if we can't take it out. Nice. Good job. Uh, I think we're gonna... Got you down here. Every time we move closer, there's a risk of triggering that other pod, which I'm not fond of. Alright. Good, good. And she's no longer panicked, which is excellent. Uh, let's come up here. Just do a pistol overwatch. And then you can... Where can you go? You can come down here. And overwatch. Alright, we see him. Madman Duelist and a couple of troopers. Well, we did two damage to one of them, so that Duelist can be combat protocol to death. Then we can try and blow one of them up. I don't love that we don't have any high cover anywhere. I'm going. We're actually flanking him. But I wouldn't mind... I don't suppose we can hit both of you, can we? Ooh, we can. Look at that. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's the duelist down. The loot's destroyed, but I can live with that, I guess. We can rend you. Build up some rend damage. And then we have our momentum move afterward. Okay. And we have you. You can't really get anywhere useful. Let's come over here and let's blinding protocol you. Uh, and we can send you over here. The objective is close now. And you can come over here. All right. This seems promising. He just stood there. So why don't we just rend him? That's a guaranteed kill. And a promotion, Corporal. Nice. Let's get down here. Where's our tech guy? Affirmative, Commander. Can you see this thing yet? No. All right, let's get in here. Alright. And suppose you come up here. Uh, 
And you can get a reload in. Move up here. Alright. There are still aliens around. Seems like. Uh, let's send you in through the window here. Let's just send you there for now. You, you could hack it, but so can you, right? Yes, you can. Hack that body. All right, 59% to recover a small cash, which we didn't get, but we disarmed the detonator and accomplished what we set out to do. Okay, there are aliens over there, so let's get a reload in here. And we'll get a reload in here. You can come back here for now. And you can come up here. And Overwatch. All right. All right, we didn't see anything. So let's move up and see what we see. Nothing. Right. Well, we're we're just gonna be cautious here. We're we're in, in no rush anymore. So let's just be careful. Take our time. My watch begins. Um. Let's come up here. High ground is always good. Roger. I've got my eyes on. High ground is always good. Alrighty. Still hear something. Sounded like a sectoid. Alright. Uh, let's move you up here and see if you see something. Nope. Nope. Okay, well, we're just gonna overwatch here. And where can you go that's useful? Up here. No problem, boss. Got some advent. Alright, there we go. We see something. Miss. Nice hit. Right, he is incredibly flankable now. There's one in here as well. Well, you know what? Let's pull you back. And you're gonna rend this guy. Because you can momentum move after to get into cover. Templars are amazing sectoid killers. Alright, get into cover. Gonna take a shot. Ow. Alright. No flawless this time. That's a shame. Alright, well. You see him down there. Good hit. Can you throw your grenade all the way? No. But we can combat protocol him to remove the overwatch. Because we don't want to run overwatches. And then you can rend him. And that should be it, I think. Yep. 
Nice. All right, excellent. We didn't get a flawless this time, but it was still good. It was still good. And let's see. Artemis, our tech spell specialist, didn't do much. Two damage well, with the combat protocol. Our sapper did pretty good. Two damage, 20 or two kills, 20 damage. Our Templar, of course, four kills, 29 damage, and two and 15. Perfect. Perfect. That couldn't have gone much better. Just that little bit of damage that we took that would have been nice to avoid to get the flawless and get a little something something. But it wasn't to be. It wasn't to be. Mm -hmm. That's fake news if I've ever heard it. Alright, so we got our engineer. Which is great. We can start clearing some debris. Which is wonderful. Alrighty. Let's see. Here they come. The heroes of the day. Your efforts in the field have certainly encouraged the crew. 14 days wounded for him. That's a long time. But we've got a corporal and we've got a new squaddy. Let's see what our new squaddy is. An assault infantry. Okay, cool. So he has close quarter. Uh, battle dominance. The assault infantry gains bonuses against enemies in close quarters battle that improve with experience. So at level 1, Squaddy uh, gained bonus to defense, critical hit defense, and critical hit chance against enemies with the assault infantry CKP dominance radius. Status, stat bonuses start at 5% and the dominance radius at 4 tiles. Uh, attacks against targets with in the dominance radius cannot be dodged or grazed. Nice. So at level 2 it goes up to 10% and the radius goes up one tile. At level 3 it's 15% and uh, the radius goes up again to 6 tiles. And many of the assault infantry's abilities apply within their CQP dominance radius, scaling up accordingly as they achieve new levels of CQP dominance. Cool. Then we have run and gun, basically shoot after dashing, and then we have slash with uh, our sword. So very cool. Our Templar uh, can get parry, so after attacking with Ren, prevent all damage from the next attack instead of moving. Aftershock, target struck by Volt will be easier to hit, increasing your squad's aim by plus 15 against the target. and Amplifier, micro single target with a psionic lens, causing them to take an additional 33% damage from a number of future single target attacks. Costs one focus. Focus. We are definitely going to take parry, uh, because that is just an amazing uh, ability. We got a hair trigger, a repeater, and a scope. That's not bad. And then we got some Intel, Sectoid Corpse, Illyrium Crystals, Advent Trooper Corpse, and Advent Duelist Corpse. Hello, Commander. The council you once knew is no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration. With one exception. It is good to see you again. In the days since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the resistance from the inside. It was these resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. As of now, resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. 
What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Their numbers are growing. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent flak site, though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. Find this black site and shut it down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. Thank you. New objective added. All right, new objective. Research resistance communications. Fly to the black site region and make contact. Okay. We're ready to move when you are, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on the latest information. Considering the limited resources available to you, Commander, you have still managed to exceed my expectations. Excellent work. Thanks, buddy. All right, we got our engineer. Perfect. And we can now a bond between Artemis and Kim uh, a techie and a sapper I don't think I'm going to do it just yet uh, basically if you're n new to um, to XCOM 2 uh, a bond once this is all over, we should take this ship and go colonize one of their planets yeah yeah thank you uh, so a bond will allow the troopers that are bonded to give each other some abilities so for instance we have um uh, that you can give a your bondmate an extra action it'll cost your action but you can give your bondmate an extra action uh, which can be quite useful and as the bond levels up up to maximum of level three i think it is then um the bond will will get stronger there they will get more actions so we have a wounded tech specialist we have a couple of tired soldiers our templar and our sapper so in nine days and ten days so we're bringing out a lot of rookies on the next one seems like all right we're clearing that alien debris we have six days until biotech Okay. We have 10 days until the resistance ring is done. All right. Local resistance forces in the area can get you into the site, but you will need to make contact with their network first. This is only the beginning, Commander. Your leadership will be a beacon to our people across the globe. I think I want some rookies. Rookies are really nice. But wasn't I scanning something else? Did I finish them? I don't know. Let's get some rookies. So, as soon as this gets down, all right. Commander, excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Tactical combat simulations, war games, the sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It, it is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting, there is still some good news. This chip bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant I briefly assisted in developing at the Gene Therapy Clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking Advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. 
A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. All right. All right, so that's the alien biotech done. Complete that vent officer autopsy. The advent officers have clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. The implanted chip is the key. All right, so we can build the infirmary. We can do the sectoid autopsy, the officer autopsy, and the new proving ground project for the med trooper augmentation. Okay. Uh, technology breakthrough laboratory construction when we made an outstanding breakthrough yeah, okay i don't really care about that breakthrough to be honest um i think we'll do the advent auto officer the autopsy officers appear to be similar if not physically the same as the common advent trooper in terms of power and agility however Field reports indicate a more developed mental acuity, as the officers do provide tactical directives to the subordinate advent forces. Okay. I must admit, having successfully completed the operation necessary to remove the commander's implant, I am intrigued by the possibility. Right, let's get these rookies going. Okay, three rookies, Amy Robertson, Toby White, and Ann Adams. Okay, then we'll head over and get the supplies, I think. So this uh, black site can wait. We're not equipped to do that right now. Uh, let's just get the resistance wing done. I must call upon your help to aid my followers. Okay, we have a new mission. Let's see what it is. Commander, some missions have unique modifiers and special conditions, which will change our tactical engagement. We'll need to review these sit reps carefully before selecting our squad. All right, so here we get a scientist. We need to rescue a stranded assistance agent. Uh, 86 intel and squatty eric rogers who's a field medic that's not bad and we have the horde advent have retreated from this area leaving only large amounts of lost okay and location scout we've advanced intel on the mission site and we'll be able to observe all enemy movements well let's go setting course for the eastern u.s precinct let's go I think we're going to build a Fulton harness here. We're detecting lost activity in this area. Our forces will need to be especially vigilant. Okay. Uh, let's just unequip here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so you two are actually available. Well, you are. You're not bad with. Hmm. Let's bring our marksman. And he is going to need a pistol. And then we'll bring our assault infantry and a couple of rookies. And let's build this Fulton harness. Because I think we're going to have to either carry this uh, field medic out or the Fulton harness can just shoot him out uh, he'll get picked up so we don't have to carry him all right uh, then you can have the Fulton harness you can have the medikit and we did have some Weapon upgrades available. Uh, hair trigger repeater, scope. Uh, let's give you the scope. And. Hmm, we'll give you that. And then we'll give the shotgun the hair trigger. 
All right, cool. So that's our squad. Uh, Rusum, Sochi, Araneta, and Cinda. Marksman, Assault Infantry, and two rookies. So, uh, yeah, next time, The Lost, The Horde. Thank you very much for watching, guys. See you next time.